My name is John Segera, also known as Jay Segera. I'm a TikTok content creator and I'm a millennial on the move. Rocks or trees, which live longer? Uh, rocks. Are rocks a living thing? No, it's not. <laughs> rocks or trees, which live longer? Uh, trees. So I was born on 1st January 2002. I'm 19 years old. Uh, I was born at Eldoret. So my journey growing up, it was, okay, I wouldn't say it was that bad, you know, because it was kind of fair. I started school at Eldoret. Then uh, later on, uh, when I got to class four, uh, my dad decided to move to uh, away from Eldoret. That was after the general elections and stuff, you know. So uh, we moved to Kisi, but I'm Kisi by the way, we moved to Kisi. So uh, I went to a boarding school, St. Mary's. I studied there for uh, till class seven. Then I moved to another private school called Elite Academy. Uh, that was when I did my KCP. I did my KCP when I was in class seven because I was really smart, let me tell you. <laughs> I was like really smart. So uh, after then, I passed and I went to high school uh, at Nyambaria High School. It's in Kisi still, because my dad wanted, to, w wanted me to study around where we lived. I was a helpful kid. I, I used to help a lot at home, especially after, after my mom passed and all, uh, after the general elections in 2007. I used to help in housework and all, you know, clinic and everything. I was a good kid. In high school, I was a, I was a really smart kid. Nakumbuka, uh, in those ages, we used to go to Funkies and all, you know, and I up with my letters to some girls' school. up with And uh, that was fun times, though, you know. Uh, those moments will live in my head, like, forever. You know, so... Uh, I was in music festival. I also took part in drama, but we really didn't go that far. You know, see, see, not everything was promised that we were going to make it to nationals and all. So, uh, but I'm happy that uh, that like ilikuwa je, ilikuwa like the beginning of my art. You know, so uh, that was when I know I could do other artistic things apart from, you know, like focusing on my studies, pekeake. You know, there's more to life than just education. You know, you can do like a, a lot of things apart from school that can, you know, complete your life and all. So, um, yeah. Growing up, I wanted to be an engineer. Even when I go to Form 2, I chose physics. Because I was, I was like really good at math, so I chose physics because I wanted to be like an engineer. But uh, suddenly, you know, when I was, uh, not everything is promised. So in Kafi Kapo from Four Kiasi, I didn't get the you know, was, uh, the points to make me go to like engineering school and all. But uh, we still made it out of high school. I'm in Africa Nazarene University, and I'm studying Bachelor of Education Arts. I love reading books on my free time. I love watching movies. I love listening to music. I love taking walks. I'm always prepared to meet like a lot of people. So uh, that's why I'm always out there, you know, meeting a lot of people, Bado, making interviews as a content creator. <laughs> I normally make public interviews on TikTok. I also post them on my Instagram. You know, my IG is still growing. So uh, I normally go out there, ask people questions, you know, get to know people think about stuff, uh, get to know people's opinion about different types of things, like uh, things that are, are, are happening in, in real life. What's the closest you've ever gone to shooting your shots? I think I've done it and I, I did it face to face. As a content creator, I have to be creative around my my, my line of work, okay? So uh, I normally walk around with a notebook, you know, so, such that when, I, when I'm in conversations with my friends and they bring up a specific conversation, I normally note it down so that I go get to know what other people think about it on the streets, like random people. So relationship in you, same with coffee? 
It didn't even start. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm at home, you know, watching movies and I some topic pops up in the movie, Nanini, I normally write it down and come up with a creative idea around it, you know, to turn it into a public interview. I didn't tell my parents that this is what I wanted to do, but uh, ever since they found out about what I'm doing, they've been really supportive. They told me like, uh, this is the 21st century, like you can, you can turn your art into money, you know. Uh, so you just do what you're doing as long as in a food on the table at the end of the day, it's okay. I have managed to balance between my education and content creation because I right now I'm studying online and uh, so that I have more time you know like to create my content and everything and go to meetings and all and also have some time to you know complete my degree and all. I actually started with YouTube I was making YouTube vlogs back in 2019, you know, when Corona came up and all. And, uh, and early last year, I decided to, you know, start making public interviews. And uh, good thing with it, uh, it picked up, you know, so people loved my content. They showed me love, they started following me. And uh, I worked harder to get the numbers that I have right now. Two tons of feathers or two tons of bricks? Which one is heavier? Two. Tons of feathers or two tons of bricks? <laughs> it hasn't been easy. Let me tell you, any, any content creator out there can tell you that this isn't easy. This isn't easy at all. Like you have to work hard to impress people on the internet. And the Two tons of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I decided to, to venture in this type of content because uh, not a lot of people are doing it like around here. So like in Kenya. So. And uh, public public interviews is like a a way like I, me I just broke it down to you know uh, asking people's opinions on stuff you know asking them trick questions. White 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 white. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do cows drink? Milk. <laughs> I normally ask people, random people, like and I can walk up to you and ask you, yo, do you want to be in my interview? If you say yes, then we have the concept to get on with the interview. And uh, like all those people that, are, that I get to post on my pages, I have consent for those videos, you know, so, uh, and they're not scripted at all. What I love most about what I'm doing is that uh, I get to meet a lot of people. I get to make friends from uh, different places, you know, different places. Like, uh, in my interviews, I don't like Sujai Bagua, who to interview and who not to interview. You know, I interview like everyone. And uh, as long as like, car after then, like we will talk, we'll become friends and all. Like I've made like a real, I've made a lot of friends out of this. What motivated me to, to you know, start doing public interviews is because like when I was growing up, when I was in high school, I, I used to watch world star hip hop, you know, public interviews and they were like really funny. So uh, when I started doing blogging, you know, at first I wanted to start doing public interviews, but uh, I, w I wasn't sure how people are going to take it. Then last year, when, uh, when I just, I, I did my first video, I saw the reactions that it was getting and I really wanted to continue doing this. And God worked mir miracles and I am where I am because of God. Get to know about my biggest breakthrough after this commercial break on Millennial on the Move. Welcome back to Millennial on the Move, my biggest breakthrough video, my biggest breakthrough video. I, 
I think you saw that video about, uh, I was asking a guy who's the prettiest woman in the world and the guy was like Rihanna, Beyonce and he was standing right next to the girlfriend. Who's the prettiest woman in the world? Rihanna. Rihanna? Yeah. No. Beyonce? No, no. I'm not the prettiest. Hey, God, on God. I really had like a lot of a lot of reactions to that video, and uh, I think I would say that was my biggest breakthrough video. My greatest challenge while uh, while making videos out there, there was a time I was making videos in some place, I'm not gonna say the place, uh, and I got arrested for for not having like the, the, the permission to shoot there. My biggest challenge is uh, the social media trolls. Like at first I didn't know how to like deal with them, but I, as I grew as a content creator, I got to know like from other people that have done this before and I've got trolls from this. I learned how to control it, how to control what I see on social media so that it, it doesn't affect me in my personal life. So uh, I normally ignore all those social media trolls, you know. I normally read those comments, what, can you see? I'm a, yeah, so I have learned to like ignore them and uh, you know continue pushing, con continue creating content every day for you guys because I love you guys. This is what I've learned through content creation: consistency. As long as you're consist consistent and uh, you're putting out there what people want to see, you know, like you know how to bring out your art. To, the, to your audience, you'll always grow. Let me tell you something, as long as you don't get to listen to what people say and focus on your grind and uh, be consistent about it, like be in your bag, I connect with your stuff. You, as a content creator, you are the one producing your content, like you're the one creating, you're the creator. So uh, whatever you're creating, that is that. Whatever you are creating, that is that is what people will, will appreciate. So, uh, as a content creator, don't listen to what people say, the, the social media trolls and all. You know, don't let someone tell you that uh, you have you have no content, you have zero content. You have content. That's why you have those numbers. That's why people are following you. I love how on a community you have no content. Those are people that those are people that I aren't even following you. You know, you have your followers. You know what they want and you're going give to give it to them. Does height matter? Uh, height, yes. Yes. Mm. How short is too short in a guy? Too short in a guy. Short. How short is too short in a guy? You keep it up or where is it? Dwarf. Huh? A dwarf. Huh? A dwarf. Some of the some of the negative disappointments or encounters I've had while making videos is that sometimes when you approach someone and uh, he or she racial profiles you, you know, like an African Mwezi, I'm on Atakago Vivi Akito, Urora, and uh, overprotective about himself or herself. Yeah, those are really awkward moments, and I wouldn't want anybody to, you know, like be in that position. When I'm interviewing people, what I'm trying to get from them is their reactions to questions that I'm asking. So uh, that's what I'm there for. I'm here for their reaction. I'm here to, to you know, know how they feel about stuff, how they react to stuff. You know, so uh, that's that's my that's like my content basically, the reaction of the general public to some things. I am most satisfied with my work when uh, I get to go out there and uh, bring out content from the general public and post it on my social media pages and it gets like the kind of reactions I wanted or close to what I wanted, you know, because you cannot always tell how people react to your videos. Spell 40. 40. F-O-R-T-Y.
Asia. Yeah. Spell it out. P W E L T H Y. <laughs> Twelve. No T W E L T H. -Y. The videos I get to post are the best videos that I've done on that week. Like in a day, on a weekend. Like I normally do videos on Saturdays and Sundays. Like I normally get to post like the videos with the most reaction. Like the videos that have concepts. You know. Yeah, so that they get the kind of reactions like I'd expect them to get. What do you know about Nigeria? Nigeria. Yeah. Na skianga ni matajiri. Na pia ni wale watu wa nye wana wana kuanga na asira ya araka. So where is Nigeria located? Niko juu ya Kenya. Nigeria is located in the northern part of Africa. The words I live by are like Lupita, like Lupita Nyong'o said, your dreams are valid. Anything is possible as long as you're consistent with it. You put like as long as una una make effort, you know, to show up every day for your art. Uh, you'll grow, you'll grow day by day, and uh, anything is possible by the way. So if you're trying to do something out there, if you're trying to create content, some type of content, if you're trying to start a business, if you're trying to you know do something with your life. You know, just do it. Do it. Believe in yourself, and uh, every, anything is possible. You'll be what you want. My expectations by the end of this year are that uh, I get to be one of the biggest content creators nationally and internationally. Because my content, I always do my content in English. Because I normally don't want to limit myself to like the only the Kenyan audience, okay, okay. I also have audi an, an audience from South Africa, Nigeria, Uganda. Okay, I'm Kenyan, but I I don't want my audience to be just Kenyan. Uh, can you date a broke man with looks or a rich man without looks? Rich man without looks. Uh. I look up to Sogboy Q. When I started making this content, people like used to call me Sogboy Q, you know, because of the resemblance of the content and all. And uh, I look up to him because uh, one thing about him, he'll never like listen to what people are saying in the comments. He'll just wake up, you know, post a video for you guys. You guys share it, relate to it. When you nataka, atangalia the negative side of the comments. No, no. Yeah, that's that's what has made him grow in all these years. I also look up to uh, Soldier Boy. If you know Soldier Boy, you know uh, that. He, he came from nothing to something through social media, through these other apps. Like people say, he finessed the internet, that's the tab. Uh, so, uh, Soja Boy is an example of anything is possible as long as you are determined to work harder, work extra harder. So let's say you are 30, okay? Yeah, okay. So, uh, if you are to be born 10 years ago, how old would you be right now? I'll be in my 20s. <laughs> Millennials go wrong uh, when they start listening to what other people have to say about them. So uh, if you're doing content creation, don't listen to what people say. Just work hard, stay on your lane, and uh, everything will work out for you. My advice to people who want to be like me, who want to create the same content that I create, is uh, be original and uh, be able to come up with concept, not only content. You have to like uh, be original, come up with content that people have never seen before, so that you get the kind of reactions I get. You know. <laughs> so uh, my advice to you is, if you wanna start today, start today. You just start, and uh, everything might work out for you. Don't give up. Just start and keep pushing. How many animals did Moses take into the ark? Oh wow, two of each that was there, that was created. <laughs> I don't know, it's so many animals. Two of it. Just two. Wait, not Moses, wait, it was Noah. You can find me on Instagram at underscore j.segera, on TikTok at j.segera, and uh, on YouTube, though I don't post that much there, or j.segera, yeah. If two plus two plus two is six, okay. what is four plus four? Four plus four plus four. <laughs> if two plus two plus two is six, what is four plus four? But um, I don't know. My take on uh, inferiority complex is that uh, you as a person, uh, everybody, actually, can be a kilam to akona his struggles in life. 
and uh, some of them may want to take it out on you. You know, Mashida Zake, they want to take it out on you on social media because that's the easiest place. When as I get to and I uh, get to talk to people, strangers, that are Jewy and get to tell them that you're bad in this, like this is what you, you can't do. Like, like Mimi, for example, when people get to comment on my videos, like, uh, Unanyona uh, Kweli, ama is this guy saying, ama open your eyes or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I normally take those people as a, like, those are people that have nothing to do with their life, you know. So uh, as long as you, you ignore the, those comments, because you, know, you don't know that person, like you don't know him, you don't know him or her, so you don't have to listen to them. You guys are not friends. Your comment later change life yako, later change life yake. So uh, my take is that uh, don't listen to what people say. Just focus on your grind, you know, because uh, at the end of the day, this is this like the fruits zita uh, zako. You you always have to think about the fruits. Unana, usif kiriye that other part of uh, people trolling you and all. My parting shot is that uh, be you, do you, because uh, if you're not going to be you, who will be you?